What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So LG has responded to this issue that I had with this uh, C7 where basically it's flashing in and out and it cuts off and this is on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now apparently this is exclusive to the PlayStation 4 Pro and it's an issue that came as a result of their recent firmware update and they're saying that it's a known issue, they are working on a fix, they are trying to uh, get this under wraps with a new update but the engineer team is aware of it and they are working on a patch for it here's the problem how many more patches like this are going to occur down the road let's say as the c8 maybe doesn't do so well because the c7 is super cheap or whatever the case may be my point being this um when a patch can fundamentally destroy my experience that's where i bow out i don't want for my inputs to no longer be functional because your firmware destroyed my television. So I, I just still stand by it. LG OLED is an unreliable product because at what point are we going to accept that, you know, these issues should never be happening on any scale. Your patches are supposed to be fixing, not destroying high-end products like OLED. And to just blatantly acknowledge that this is something that your firmware has done is just like, so you know you're fucking up, right? And the the fa the fix should have been expedient, right? Let, let's be let's be honest. The PlayStation 4 Pro came out in 2016. It's 2018. There is no reason why it shouldn't be optimized right now. Furthermore, there is no reason why HDR gaming should be having this issue in every single mode. Because guess what? I don't use game mode. So they're try they were trying to claim with me that it was something going on with specifically game mode. And I was like, well, no, it's not because I'm in standard mode all the time. So try again. So basically, they're just bullshitting me and then also admitting fault at the same time. And again, this is what I'm always talking about on this channel, right? You don't want to be that guy. Investing in OLED, believing in OLED, falling in love with the picture, whatever the case may be, and then running into issues, and then the company's just going to kind of be like, yeah, we're working on it. Yeah, that doesn't tell me shit. You know, you messed up my product, you know, with these stupid updates, which is, again, I tell you all the time, guys, keep your shit offline, man. If you get your picture out of the box and you're satisfied with the performance, do not update your television. If you update, you will be running into issues because... Down the line, these people are just going to start furthering obsolescence to force you into the new product. I personally feel like that's what's going on here a little bit um, because a lot of people are now buying OLED for gaming and things like that. But honestly, all that's going to do is piss me off like it did. I returned it back to the fucking store, got my money back, and guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait for a TV that's not a defective piece of shit. You know, like I don't have patience for a product to fail me because the firmware that they had time to work on before they released, by the way. Nobody's expecting a firmware. There's not a firmware schedule, so you don't have this timely manner to pump these things out, right? Nobody's expecting it. You could have worked on it and ironed out all the kinks and tested your shit first, but no, no. Now it's this product that destroys our PlayStation 4 experience, supposedly just the PlayStation. And it's just completely and totally unacceptable that this is what we're dealing with right now. Um, so this is kind of why I am so militant against LG OLED, why I come out and I attack it, because I had these same problems all the way in 2015 when I was dealing with the problems with OLED in a different level. And, you know, I even got burned in and they told me it was my fault because I was being negligent, negligent. And this is the kind of stuff that like really just pisses me off. And my message to anybody watching this video with an OLED right now, if you are in your return exchange period, return the product. As much as the HDR will make you fall in love and you love the deep black levels, it is simply not worth the headache that you will eventually encounter down the road. And you don't know if they're going to come out with another faulty patch that requires you to do more waiting around. I mean, like what? You're going to wait even more as a customer that paid this markup where right now I'm playing the Sony X900E HDR on point, not a single dropout, not a single problem. And this is what I'm talking about. It's the difference in quality and LG makes poor quality products and puts a premium price on them. That's just just garbage. It's garbage, man. Like everybody's hopping up on this like OLED nonsense like, oh, it's amazing. It's fantastic. Yeah, maybe maybe to those who like inconsistent products. But for me, I want a uniform experience. I want consistency. So I'm either going to stay with Samsung, Sony, or 
maybe even try out a Vizio if I could ever forgive their poor, and I mean poor, customer service, which probably ain't going to happen, but realistically, this is what I'm dealing with, and I'm really upset about it because it should have never have gone down like that, and now I'm starting to read more and more comments, and there are a lot of other people that are going through the same exact thing, so again, to those guys out there, I say this, if you're going through it, just drop it, get rid of it, there will be another product to buy, that's what I'm doing, I'm holding on to my money, I don't know if you remember in the video that I just posted, but this is it, this is that same video, and look, man, this shit happens. Sometimes you gotta let a product go. That flashing on and off crap, I'm not dealing with that. And you know, they wanna talk about it was from their latest firmware update, but I'm gonna point out that this shit has been going on since the B7. That is the exact reason why I got rid of the B7 in the first place after owning it, because it started flashing like that, and it was in PlayStation as well. So this isn't anything like new, and it was like a day one B7, by the way. And then I also updated it and had the same issue again. So they're on some bullshit. They need to figure it out. More people are starting to complain about it. And I'm going to publicize it now and make it a thing. Yes, they have problems with their products, and they don't really work on expedient fixes like they claim to be working on them. But again, it's been going on on the B7 for like, if you guys remember how many go back in the in the log see how old my b7 videos are i mean at least a few a couple months at this point and that's how long this has been going on on lg oled so you know oled owners are just being quiet about their problems well i'm the one oled owner that returned to shit that won't be quiet about it so i just wanted to show you guys this it's real time it's on my youtube channel here you guys can check it out and kind of get an idea for yourself. My raw, uncut reaction to that bullshit. Still very upset about it. Very pissed off because I had no intention on returning my OLED. But I'm not going to be sitting through that nonsense. That being said, protect yourself. Guard yourself. My name is Quantum Apotheosis. Bringing you guys the apotheosis of information. Thanks so much for stopping by and being a part of the channel today. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.